Hello YouTubers, Juki Dave here today. I'm going to do a review on the Buckman Edward model, which is iconically probably one of the best Buckman models that Buckman has ever made uh, during their time. And probably the one of the one of the first Buckman models that Buckman ever really got right. Uh, what anyhow, let's just get into it, shall we? Now as you know. The Buckman Edward itself is actually based off his model series appearance. As you can tell by the face, I believe this is a season 6 or 7. I believe this is a... No, I think this is a season 10 or 11 face. Yeah, quite possibly, yep, yeah, it is. So yeah... Yep, it is, and um, yep, yeah, that's why I like the face. It's got a uh, season 10 or 11 face, yep. Yeah. Um, as you know, the running board is white. Excuse me for a sec. He's got uh, three black irons. This is actually the first Buckman model to have have redesigned the lamp irons, which these lamp irons will later become more used for for Buckman Europe uh, as models of the for the early releases of Thomas Percy, James, and Gordon. So yeah, uh, he's got red buffer beans. Yeah. His coupling is black, so yeah, um, for, he's got chromings on the side of his boiler, yep, yeah, and there we go. So yeah, uh, here we go, so he's just, he's got this black boiler piece, doesn't have any detail. But it's pretty cool that, have for inside interior, yep, yeah, he's got a front truck wheel too, so yep, yeah, he's got side rods on both sides, yep. Yeah. He does have the eye mechanism, and he's got the little whistle right here, which is a nice detail. Um, yeah. So, yeah. And over here, he's got the, the black tender drawbar, which is held up by a spring. So, yeah. And now we go into the detail of the tender. So, here's the tender. So, not much details on the tender, but there's... What I like about the tender part is that you can actually put a driver and a and a fireman to sit here. Uh, they can be held together by a blue tack if you have it. He's got coal on the tender, yep. It's got number two on the sides and it's held by truck wheels, yep. It's got blue wheels. Got a hook at the back. The buffers are really, yep. So overall, I... Overall, I'm actually pretty blown away by the Buckman Edward. He seems like probably one of the best Buckman models we've ever had. One of the best Buckman models out there. Like, I'm actually really blown away by the Buckman Edward, just like how I was blown away, just how, just how like I was blown away by the Buckman Gordon and Henry. I was blown away by the Buckman Dark. I was blown away by Buckman Diesel Paxton and Paxton. And Mavis, Bill and Ben, and Dawn Douglas. So yeah, this, this is why I can see why fans love this model. It is, cons without a doubt, one of the best models that Buckman has ever produced. And I can see it, it doesn't need any updates. I think it's great the how it is. And so yeah, I, I just, I would like to give it a test run, but... Just can't be bothered getting like the tracks out, so yeah. Overall, the Buckman Edward is in really... This is how long the Buckman Edward is with my iPhone 12 on the side, so yeah, he's pretty long. Yeah, and overall, um, if you are a railway series, more into railway series detail, more into railway series application um, remakes, He'll be great. The Buckman Edward is in very accurate scary with the Hornby Thomas, Henry and Gordon. Um, the Hornby Edward's not really all that great. It just doesn't look anything like Edward's real life fakes. I can see why people would go for the Buckman model more because it just feels a little bit, a little even more, a little bit more accurate to his railway series counterpart. So yeah, yep. Yeah. And overall, uh, I just love this model. As I said before, I love this model. It's probably one of my favourite Buckman Thomas models in the range. Yep, it's definitely up there along with Dark Don Douglas, Bill and Ben, Diesel Paxton, Paxton, Gordon Henry, 
and the Skull-Louis engine. So, yep, it's it's up there as one of the best fucking ones. I can tell you why that, that it is one of the... That's why it will always be one of the best fucking models that Buckman has ever produced. Okay, Lionel, bye, not froze. This is Juki Dave, signing off.